Yeah, and some are worried about their safety, saying that encampment has grown in the last year. And it was also in the last year that we have repeatedly been asking questions to city and state officials. When will that encampment be addressed? Today, I also followed up asking them if a murder doesn't create further action, what does? Now knowing that someone was shot and killed, it, it's extremely concerning. We talked to someone who lives near the Ship Canal Bridge, homeless encampment that sits right under Interstate 5. Seattle police said Friday night they went to the area. The caller said someone had been shot. Police said they found the victim underneath the interstate here in what they called a dwelling, and he was pronounced dead. The resident we talked to wanted to stay anonymous, but said they've reached out to the city, elected leaders, and haven't seen a change. They know about this encampment, and now someone's died. They, they didn't do anything about it, and now someone has died. So how long are you going to wait to, like, take action? Whatever that action is, I don't know, but you've already let someone die because of your inaction. Shootings near encampments are a constant issue Seattle is facing. The city's newly updated homelessness dashboard shows that last year there were 116 shots fired. That includes shootings near an encampment or if the victim or offender is homeless, an average of two a week. The shooting death under the Ship Canal Bridge is the first homicide linked by SPD to an encampment in 2023. Someone gets killed, it's a sad day. It's, it's been sad just watching the way, I mean, in some ways it works. There's a, an encampment there. They do their thing, we do our thing. It mostly works. Um, I can tell it's not great living in general, so it's a sad thing to watch America turn into that. The encampment is on Washdot land. We have been asking about it time and time again. Most recently, Washdot told us their timeline on addressing this depends on housing availability but that outreach workers have been speaking to those living here. Michelle, it was an emotional night as people mourned the loss of the Cox family. Now, people who came out to remember them here at Tumwater District Stadium say that they were a shining light in the community. A moment of silence was made for Destiny Cox, her husband Steve, and three of their children who were tragically killed in a house fire last Saturday. Family friend Taylor Wood said it was beautiful to see the amount of people who showed up. It shows the roots he had in the community, the whole family, um, all the kids from the school, Destiny's uh, friends, Stephen's friends. It's been cool to see everybody show up. During the vigil, several statements were read on behalf of the family. Destiny's sister thanked everyone for their support and had one important message she wanted to share. We are all in this world together, so let's help one another and love one another and give a helping hand. The Cox fourth child was not at home when the fire broke out the morning of January 21st, and a young family friend was able to escape. Now tonight, a statement was read on behalf of that young girl, the only survivor. That morning may forever haunt me, but I want you to know that it won't ruin my wonderful memories. So many describe the Cox as a blended family, an integral part of this tight-knit community, well-known and now forever missed. Contagious smiles and very loving, yeah. blended family that just Wonderful, touched nice a lot people. of people's lives. Now, investigators have already ruled that the fire was not intentionally set. And now family and friends say that it's time to heal and be supportive of their surviving 14-year-old boy. In Tumwater, Karina Vargas, Como News. Thinking of all of those who knew and loved them to help the Cox family and the surviving child, a GoFundMe was set up tonight. The page is close to its goal of $75,000. Hi, everyone. I'm Preston Phillips from Como News. Thanks for checking out the Como YouTube channel. You can see more of our videos right here by clicking on the video links for more news from the Seattle area and western Washington. Oh, and don't forget to click the subscribe button below so you don't miss our YouTube updates.